So this is the e.l.f. Uh, corrective concealer that I will be using. I think this is the only one that they have in the moment. Um, I got this for, I believe, 3 or $6. I'm not sure. I will uh, search it up and put it right here um, on the side so you guys can know how much. My, I know these look super weird. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> Let me read to you the back. Provides custom coverage to help conceal under eye darkness, blemishes, and other skin imperfections. Helps brighten and neutralize the appearance of undry circles and redness. So this is supposed to help your dark undry circles and your pimples or any other like marks that you have, supposedly. We'll see. We'll test it out. And then it also says directions. Use the green, this one right here, uh, to help neutralize and cover red spots such as pimple scars. Use a pink shade to help brighten dull yellow tones and to highlight the inner and outer corner of your eyes. And then it says blend a small amount of chosen corrective color into the desired area then apply concealer or foundation on top to hide the color. Now in these directions it doesn't say exactly which one is for your dark circles. Um, usually that is a reddish or not reddish orange toned color correcting but as you can see they don't have that here so what I'm gonna have to do is use this uh, peach one uh, because that's closer to orange um, we'll just see and it also comes with a little brush right here look how cute this is I don't think this will be as useful but I'll use it I read that before you use this, you should put it in the refrigerator because uh, the colors are really um, pasty, I guess. I don't know how to describe it. Like, really pasty. I don't know. So just put it in the refrigerator so uh, it can help with that, so it can be hardened. So, first I'm going to apply the green with this brush. We'll just see with the brush. I'm not sure if the brush will help as much, but we'll use it because it comes with it. So the green is to hide your redness and any other imperfections. And I have a lot in my chin. Ta -da. Um, now keep in mind I have never used color correcting so I might be doing this wrong. Now I am using the pink one for my dark circles and I'm pretty sure this is going to kind of work because the Erase Paste uh, Benefit Concealer that I've used in the past for to conceal my eyes, um, it has like a peachy orangey tone and it, uh, it works pretty well to conceal my dark under eye circles. So. I think this is going to work. I'm not sure. We'll see. I'm just going to tap it in with my finger. You know what? I'm just going to swirl it in. Oh my gosh. So I'm all done. I have peach under my eyes. We'll see if that works. I'm not sure. I have green on my redness and pimples. Now I'm going to apply my foundation. This is my everyday foundation. Now I'm gonna put my concealer. You know what, should I tap it in or should I? Because I just want like this with this side, but I don't wanna move the product I just put. So this side I just went like this and then this side I'm just going to tap it in. Okay so I just finished all my makeup and I saw in my bigger mirror and now I can give my, now I can give my final thoughts about e.l.f. my e.l.f. color correcting. Okay so when I saw it in my bigger mirror I saw that I didn't have as much redness and pimples in my chin area and that it looked cleaner than what I usually um, put my just foundation and I like that I think the green of this really did work though I could still still see a little bit of um, marks on my forehead but for my under eye circles no it I don't like how that looks it just doesn't look good um, so I will have to say I'll give this a 5 out of 10 uh, 
because it did work for my um, bottom. It just didn't work for my dark under eye circles and some parts on my forehead. It didn't work for that. Um, the color ranges, I think they can fix this a little bit more. The green is good. The peach maybe make it a little bit more orange. I don't know what these are used for, like brightener or whatever. I don't know. I wouldn't use those two. Where's the brush that I came with? The brush was cute. I actually kind of like the brush. It was so cute. Uh, though, um, for my chin, it wasn't that great because I have a lot of redness on my chin. So this brush kind of like made it take a little longer. Would I recommend this? No. I think you can get better concealers out there to cover your redness. I think there's better concealers. I just don't see how this color correcting it doesn't top that at all, I think. So hopefully this video helped you guys decide whether or not you guys want to get the e.l.f. Um, corrective concealer. Would I get it again? Probably not, but will I use it? Yes, because I don't want to waste my um, money <laughs> on products. Um, so I'm going to use it. I'm going to use a green one all I can. The other colors I'm probably not going to use, but at least I'm using something. Also, I just want to say that e.l.f. has really good products. Like, their highlight is bomb, but it's just really, really pretty. Their brushes are amazing. I have uh, two of their brushes. Oh, no, three. There you go. Three of their brushes. Um, so hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. Hopefully it, you got something out of it. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more videos like this, please give this video a thumbs up so I can know. And if you guys haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe um, if you want to. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, everyone.